All right, we're back out here again. Let's see if it's gonna get start. Yeah, when you get that battery disconnected. Yeah. Probably. All right, good. battery system and it starts on two dead batteries. <laughs> compression this time. Tiny bulb. There. All right, we're gonna see if it moves. Just having trouble getting it in gear. <laughs> should should be all the way over and up. All the way to left. Left enough. So yeah. Well, you were for a second. <laughs> Let's get you can go forward a foot or two. Moves just fine. Oh, these trucks are awesome. Yeah. Are they they're retreading? Oh, yeah. God, they still look good though. Not that many. oil here. It's all new. Apparently it leaks oil when it idles. I was gonna have a dog in the video. Hi. I guess I forgot to show you this, but you can see where it's going down those, <laughs> going down the engine. So the funnels don't fit, so we're using uh, a zip drive through <laughs> cup. We opted for the upgrade. <laughs> Two funnels. <laughs> All right, so it had slowly died on us, uh, and that's why it was off. So we're gonna see if it starts. Get some fuel. We got fuel. Oh. Big strong man gone. Go carry him. Oh yeah, there you go. <laughs> All right, we filled this thing up half a percent of its total fuel capacity. It already had diesel in it, but we're kind of worried that it was so low it was sucking air into the line because it wouldn't start. Oh, okay. So let's see if it does now.
Hey, we're gonna have to jump it. No. <laughs> It's not too dead, so we're gonna try it here. feel like something's up. Kind of feel like something's happening. Not sure what though. Alrighty. So this is where it's sitting right now. I hope there's not too much wind noise. I apologize if there is. So, uh, it was just over there around that hill right up there yep there we go around that hill over there so after you guys saw the uh shit ton of smoke coming i'm hope i'm hoping that the wind is not affecting this too much sorry if it is after the last clip you just saw there was a shit ton of smoke coming out of it well that's what it looks like when you're trying to go up a hill with no fuel going to the engine uh it, it didn't burn up or anything it was just terribly low fuel so after that it stopped on the hill over there basically right after I pressed record or uh, after I stopped recording and uh, then we had to tow it with the 6.5 with a um, ratchet strap none other than a full-on ratchet strap so we pulled it with his truck that one right there well that, that was kind of a pain uh, I had to slip the clutch so goddamn much you could smell it just to fucking start out because, well, we were on a hill and that 
truck isn't really made to tow this. <laughs> Once we got it moving, we got to that spot over there I was telling you about. And, uh, and then because it has that air leak, which uh, was mostly fixed, but is still not 100% fixed, uh, all of a sudden I heard a psh and the brakes locked up. So then we had to stop again. And by that time I had about 40 minutes uh, left uh, so that I could eat because I hadn't eaten thing, anything all day. 40 minutes to eat, make my lunch, take a shower and leave for work. So I couldn't really film anymore. But uh, he went back into town. I'm pretty sure he got another 10 gallons. I'm not sure, put it in one of the tanks. And then um, uh, he idled it in like first or second gear or something like that to this spot, like 500 feet to here. So uh, this poor girl, she's been out of fuel twice in the last day. Uh, this is a day later, by the way. I just uh, couldn't film any earlier than this, unfortunately, but it doesn't, it's still light enough that you can see it. Updates that are gonna happen pretty immediately on the truck, just so that you know. The seat isn't there, it's gonna be reupholstered, and this one as well, if we can get that cap off. We're just gonna lubricate everything. As you can see, some things are kind of new greasy. There's um, that air leak that we gotta fix, the gasket that was on there blew off probably years ago so we got to figure it's uh, right on i think it's this air tank i think it's on that one i'm not entirely sure he's the one that found it and so we got to replace that uh so that it doesn't have an air leak and then we're gonna spend some time here probably in the next week and just uh spend like a day and drive back and forth for like a goddamn hour and fill up at least one of these tanks so that we can drive it to town and actually fill it up all the way so that we can move the damn thing. Um, God, I feel sorry for the poor Detroit, but I mean, it did it. You know, I'm sure the engine isn't too happy, but it was already kind of tired. Not clapped out, just tired. Uh, other than that, uh, we're just, the first order of business, I guess you could say, is that we're going to um, clean it. We're gonna clean a lot on this truck. It's, it's kind of dirty. Um, and then hopefully we'll clean the pig next as well. It needs a, a serious bath. And then we're also gonna straight pipe it, of course, because that's what we do on this channel. We straight pipe everything and start restoring it like all of the other trucks. <laughs> so it's gonna take forever, but you know, we're gonna start. Oh, we're pretty sure it's a nine speed, not a 10 speed. It's a low one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And uh, we're pretty sure anyways. So, there you go. It's uh, got plenty of oil in it. We're pretty sure the antifreeze is okay. Uh, the owner said that it does perhaps have an antifreeze leak. Uh, we haven't seen any antifreeze on the ground. So maybe it's only when it's hauling down the road or like the engine is uh, really hot or something. So we aren't sure. Uh, or it could have fixed itself and just it could have just been a, a hose coupler that was bad and it just reseeded properly. Um, I thought it would be cool to get uh, Detroit mud flaps for it instead of Napa. We got to fix that thing too. Yeah, that's pretty much it. It was uh, it was a rough day for this girl, but uh, she did it. I'm sure she's got a lot of miles left in her. Not really sure what else to say. Uh, oh well, the cab tilting mechanism we haven't tested it yet uh, but the owner has another solenoid for it just in case this one doesn't work uh, yeah I think we're good I think that's about all the information you needed I figured that the video needed some sort of end and not just the truck look like its engine is catching on fire internally so <laughs> I figured I'd make something god I love the look of this thing one thing I love about this truck is its its stance it's just so unique it's just how tiny that cab is. And then the short little, oh God, I love the pup truck. I still think that the pig is, I'm trying to block the wind. I still think that the pig um, looks more badass, but this still looks absolutely amazing. I love the look of these. Most of these have the small sleeper on the back, the little, not the day cab, I can't, I can't think of it. Maybe it's day cab. But they have the, the little sleeper on the back, and that's how most of these are. And then some of them have the, the full-on sleeper. But this one is just a 
just a single cab. Oh, it's, I just love how it's so tiny. <laughs> and then it's so thin there, and then just how massive the front end is on this thing. Ah, oh, it's a beautiful truck. Needs a new horn. Oh, I'm gonna start looking into horns. I wanna get like a really good horn for this thing. Something, something unique, like a seven tone or something. And then, you know, we gotta paint this up. There's hardly any surface rust on it. Really, the, the only surface rust I've seen is here. And it's not really even pitted, pitted. it's just, it's like, a nanometer of surface rust, so the, it's a really clean frame. It's the pup truck. That's what we're gonna call it anyways. Oh man, that air filter's probably gonna be fucking nasty.